Technology like solar and wind power is helping slow down the damage to our environment. Yeah, but a new study says we're not even using some technology that could make a big difference. As Karen Drew shows us, technology could have an immediate effect on one of the biggest sources of greenhouse gas. We're talking about methane. Methane is a potent greenhouse gas and is leaking from our landfills and into the atmosphere. By cutting even a little bit of methane coming from the landfills in Michigan, you can actually slow down global warming. Catherine Blauvelt is with the nonprofit Industrious Labs. The group found more than 700 landfills across the country with methane leaks that were well above the EPA's legal limit. There's several landfills that EPA inspectors um, inspected in Michigan showed not only large amounts of methane emissions, but a discrepancy between what the landfill operators were able to find. They were reporting very few landfill methane emissions, and then the EPA found quite a lot. Michigan has about 60 landfills. The EPA isn't required to inspect them, but at several Michigan landfills the EPA did inspect, significant methane leaks were found. For example, at Brent Run Landfill in Montrose Township, the EPA found excessive methane leaks and potentially cancer-causing hazardous air pollutants. Over at Pine Tree Acres Landfill in Macomb County, the EPA the EPA's unannounced inspection found failures of the landfill's gas collection system and 19 excessive methane leaks. The problem, according to the study, federal rules for reporting leaking methane are seriously out of date. Landfills are only required to look for the invisible methane leaks on their own, four times a year using a handheld device. It's like everyone's been operating on a Windows 2000 system and we just need to upgrade that system. We can see the methane plume itself um, being emitted from the landfill. This is a picture of methane gas leaking straight out of the Pine Tree Acres landfill. When we started doing these airborne observations at landfills, we were surprised to see that such large emissions were coming from the waste sectors. Tia Scarpelli is a scientist with Carbon Mapper. Her group uses aerial and satellite technology to pinpoint methane leaks, technology which could identify exactly where methane is leaking into the atmosphere so that corrections can be made at the landfills. We can use known technologies to reduce these emissions. So why would we not want to do that? Landfills are the third biggest source of methane leaks in the U.S. The great news about this is we don't need to split an atom to uh, fix these problems. In an email to Local 4, the EPA said it is collecting information on new technologies and will review federal Clean Air Act rules soon. By the way, believe it or not, food waste is the number one cause of methane gas at landfills. Back to you.